Now I'm going to go ahead and switch gouges to a sharp gouge. Regular 3 8 gouge. tenon for the chuck to hold. I have a template for my stronghold chuck. This is the widest tenon I can hold. This is the smallest tenon. And these lines right there are the ideal size for the strongest holding power. It makes a really quick reference point. You can just pop that up there. You don't have to worry about using a dividers and I want this pretty close to the ideal size for the chuck because this is a larger piece and I really want it to be strongly held on there. start shaping where the bottom is going to be. This is a draw cut. It's a shearing cut. Um, it's easy to shape with it. This will probably be the foot, about a third of the diameter. Right about there. See these shavings that are coming off. This should be producing a nice clean cut, which it is. A little bit of tear out up here that I'll have to get rid of. Some there, and we get that out of there right now.
important to get a nice pleasing curve because this is where the hands are going to hold it. So I like to have it to where the, your hand doesn't hit the foot. But you know, I've got big hands. But a nice gentle curve around here. And I'll do some more refining on this and um, get it nice and cleaned up. Turn it around and we'll do the inside. Okay, I went ahead and supported some of the areas that are checking um, with super glue. Um, super glue works very well with wipe on poly. The two blend together. You can't see where one stops and the other starts. Um, I've done some light sanding on the outer edge here with 220. Um, pretty happy with the profile. A little bit of a ridge there that I need to work out, but I can do that when we've got it turned back around. I'll go ahead and cut in a little bit of a detail for the foot. Since the foot's going to be a lot wider than the chuck, we can go ahead and do that at this point. to have the same curve that's on the outside be reflected on the inside of the foot. It just looks nicer. tightening your chuck. Always tighten both sides. thick all the way around so that it's substantial if it gets dropped it shouldn't break so right about there and then I like to do a little bit of a cove on the inside so I'll just come in here Just a little bit of a toe there on the rim.
press it back up into the chuck and tighten it down some more. switch gouges. This one's getting pretty hot. Another 3 8 gouge has a little, little bit different grind on it, not as um, steep 